Good morning again. Uh, it's part three, and I reckon the final part, well, maybe final part for now, on the uh, keyboard project that I've been doing. As you can, uh, as you remember, if you've been seeing the other videos, we've been going from um, a Commodore 16, um, an old Commodore 16, and I'd have to say it had a TED chip failure. So I haven't killed a computer to make another computer. It's um, it was very much dead anyway, so um, it was really all spares. So um, I don't want the, uh, uh, you know, the, the 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 Commodore lobby having a go at me. I've killed enough working computers in the past not to go and kill another one. Um, so what I've done is I've stuck with the last idea, and uh, what I've done now is uh, I've just really just put the finishing touches on it, so I can just get on and use it. And uh, you can see now what I've done is um, I've cut um, a bit of. Uh, hardboard out to um, just protect everything else that's not being used on the keyboard. The function keys stay there although they're not doing anything um, but I've just put some uh, white sort of fabron over it. It had to be white because obviously the uh, closest thing to a Jupiter race I suppose in a way um, and then all I've done really is uh, just printed out the commands on the top there just to fill a bit of space, give it a bit of effect and um, Put the little logo up there, which is uh, quite good. Use photographic paper just to keep it nice and shiny on the top, and uh, hopefully that will stay protected. I've not put anything at the bottom because of that, because you don't want the hands rubbing away. Then um, just got some commands there, some quick reference commands, so I can remember what they are without having to go online on the on the computer at the other side of the room. I've got my uh, USB mode light. Um, if you remember from the last video, that comes on when I hold this USB on off switch uh, there so if I press that and hold that in that actually holds this key down automatically that's all mapped down to there and then that will load in via the USB from uh, from the old computer so yeah so that's all pretty good uh, really pleased with it now you can just get on and uh, you know start doing a little bit of programming um, if anybody wants to care to look for a YouTube video of the, um, the Cambridge Mark 14 um, that's really one of the back in the day which is a really a great inspiration for this project so uh, yeah I hope you've uh, hope it gives other people some other ideas and um, I look forward to seeing you know better attempts because uh, I'm happy with mine but I know that there are people who are a lot better at this sort of thing than me who can uh, probably come up with something uh, you know just as interesting Okay, so now well, there's a serial number there, see? So I'm Fignition 2071. Okay. Thanks very much, and uh, thanks for all the views and the rates. It's brilliant. Thank you, and uh, good luck with all your Fignitions.